Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Now before I show you how to make this bag and the supplies needed, I was going to address this ring that I'm wearing because this is actually the first piece of jewelry I had ever worn in a video before. Um, but I wanted to show you, I was contacted by this company called Sufil. It's an online jewelry company and they just asked me if I would do a, a quick review and I said that I would because I looked on their website and I thought that their jewelry was very pretty and very uh, reasonably priced. Um, the one that I have on is actually a natural sea pearl ring from Akoya, Japan. It's very pretty and it's set in solid 18 karat gold. It's very, very pretty. I like it. It comes in this nice little pouch here and it has a little pad to wipe it. Um, I'll put the link to this particular ring below and a link to their website. Um, if you want to check them out, that'd be awesome. Um, also I'll put a, a, a coupon code down there that's good for $5 off your purchase of $65 or more US dollars that is. And I'll put uh, the code to that too. So I'll be wearing this for the video. I think it's so pretty. I like it a lot. But they don't just have this, pearls and everything. They have a lot of charm, a lot of charm bracelets and everything too. So, um, like I said, I'll put the links below to that if you want to check them out. I appreciate that. Now we'll go ahead and get started on the bag. For this project, I am going to be using Red Heart Super Saver, which is simply a uh, worsted weight uh, four ply, 100% acrylic. You don't have to use this brand. Any four ply yarn will work. And I'm also going to be mixing it with um, size 18 nylon thread. And this is the same color. I'm going to be using black both times. And I'm going to use them both at the same crochet with both of them at the same time. And then also the necklace that you see is just a necklace that I bought at Walmart. That's all it is. And what I'm going to do is clip it to size and crochet it around the flap of the bag. And you don't have to do this either. This is something to decorate it up with. I like to make things blingy. Fun like that. And I'm going to be using a size I, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now what I'm doing, like I said, is using the nylon thread and the four ply yarn at the same time. And the reason why I'm doing that, you don't have to do that, is the nylon thread is a little uh, firmer, I guess, to maybe hold its shape a little bit better. Plus I like the look of it. I don't know if you can see it real well on camera, but the nylon is shiny as opposed to the yarn is dull and it kind of gives it a, a neat look to it but this is a really easy bag you want to start out with a chain of 60. so then what we're going to do is we're going to follow it down without twisting your chain and we're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch to form a ring but i apologize for the dark color but it's going to be such an easy bag that i don't think you're going to have a problem seeing what i'm doing here you go ahead and slip stitch like that Remember, we got the nylon thread and the four ply at the same time. And now we're going to chain one and we're going to crochet, single crochet right back into that same spot. And now what I'm going to do is put one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until I get back around to the beginning. Just one single crochet. All the way around just like that so I'm going to continue that making sure you get the thread and the, the nylon thread and the yarn make sure you pull them both through and um, you can kind of see the texture in it I guess you don't necessarily have to use black either but whatever colors you want but I'm going to continue one single crochet all the way around my ring until I get back to the beginning 
Okay, once you make it all the way back around, all we're gonna be doing is rounds of single crochet. So I made it back to the beginning and you want to get a stitch marker and I'm just gonna use this piece of yarn right here. And I'm gonna set it right here. That, where, that way I know where I end and where I begin. So I'm gonna grab my two pieces of yarn and thread now I'm going to go ahead and single crochet into the first single crochet that we made. Not to chain one, but the first single crochet. Now you should have had 60 stitches at the end of that round. If you didn't, don't worry about it. Stitch count isn't really important on this bag. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way around again, putting one single crochet in every stitch. And we're working from the bottom up, so what we'll do is we'll sew the bottom together at the end. So I'm just going to keep going around, working one single crochet in every stitch. And if you're using the thread, nylon thread and the yarn like I am, you'll be able to tell that the bag is a bit stiffer. And it'll hold a shape a little bit better than just using, right, just using um, yarn. So I'm going to continue around until I get back to my stitch marker. One single crochet in every stitch. Just like that. Okay, I've made it back to my stitch marker and all I'm going to do is pull it up and move it back here to my starting point. And again, I'm just going to go jump over here to the first single crochet. And I'm going to single crochet, one single crochet, and every stitch all the way around. So it's just rounds and rounds of single crochet. It's a super easy bag, but it's gonna look really nice when we're done, I hope. Sometimes things don't always turn out as I hope them to, but this one I think might look pretty. So. What you want to do is just keep doing rounds of single crochet until you get your bag as tall as you want it to be. Now I'm not quite sure how many rounds I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to continue working. Every time I get to my stitch marker, I'm going to move it up and start another round. So I'm going to keep working and I will let you know how many total rounds I do. And then we will sew it together and sew our necklace on. And we'll, it really won't take much longer to finish. Okay, I have made it back around and I have done a total of 18 rounds of single crochet all together. And I'm at my stitch marker. And I still have my pretty sew fill ring on. I love pearls, they're so pretty. Remember, don't forget to check them out. I put that link below in the description box. Okay, once you make it back around here, what I'm going to do is some decreases just to make the top of the bag a little bit uh, smaller. Remember, we have not closed the bottom of the bag up yet. It is still open. We'll do that later. So what I'm going to do is move my stitch marker up. And now I'm going to put one single crochet into the next four stitches. So, there's one, two, three, and four. And now I'm going to do a single crochet decrease over the next two. It takes two stitches to make one decrease. So what I'm going to do is go right into the next stitch and drop a loop. And then I'm going to go into the next stitch and drop a loop. And I'll have three loops on my hook. And I'm gonna yarn over and go through all three loops. And what that did is it took those two stitches and made it into one. And now I'm going to do one single crochet into the next four stitches again. So there's one, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna single crochet decrease again 
over the next two stitches. So I'm going to go into the next stitch and draw up a loop. And then I'm going to go into the next one and draw up a loop. And then yarn over and go through all the loops on my hook. I said three. There's actually six if you count the thread and the yarn. But together, there's one, two, three. You probably knew, you probably knew that, what I meant. Okay, and I'm just going to repeat that. I'm going to do one single crochet into the next four stitches. There's one, two, three, and four. And I'm going to single crochet decrease over these next two stitches. So go into the next stitch, drop a loop, and the next stitch, drop a loop, and yarn over and go through all the loops on your hook. And I'm just going to repeat that pattern all the way back around to my stitch marker. One single crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, oh my camera's falling. three, four, and then single crochet decrease over the next two. So just repeat that pattern all the way back around until you get to your stitch marker. Okay, I've made it back around and you should end in a decrease, or I did. And if you don't, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Just end with whatever you end with. Like I said, stitch count doesn't really matter it's not going to mess up anything if you don't have the same amount of stitches that I do so what I'm going to do is pull my stitch marker up and I'm going to do another row of decreases but this time what I'm going to do is eight single crochets one two three four five, six, seven, and eight. And then I'm gonna do my decrease over the next two stitches. So I'm gonna go in and draw up a loop. And then in again and draw up a loop. I apologize for getting off camera there. And yarn over and go through all the loops on your hook. So it's just kind of like we did before, because this time we're gonna do eight single crochets in a row and then a single crochet decrease eight single crochets and then a single crochet decrease all the way back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it around again and again I ended in a decrease. If you didn't, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to do my last decrease here and you just finish out whatever you have there. I'm going to move my stitch marker up and now I'm just going to do two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. I'm not going to work any more decreases. So I'm just going to jump over and put one single crochet in every stitch and I'm going to do that for two rounds. So just like we were before the decreases, rounds of single crochet, but I'm just doing two. So I'm going to go ahead and work my two real quick and I'll meet back up with you in just a minute. Okay, I've made it back around to the beginning after my two rows there of single crochet. And what you want to do is just go ahead and I made it to my stitch marker, just slip stitch uh, in that stitch that has the stitch marker like that. And then go ahead and clip your yarn off and then we can hide them tails in. This We can take that stitch marker out now. We don't need it anymore. But before I hide them tails, we'll go ahead and sew up the bottom. So I kind of flip it to where this part the, is kind of in the back of the bag or on the side like this so you can't really see it don't want to put it in the front or anything so just set it down like this now how I'm going to sew it together is I'm just going to use my regular four ply yarn I'm not going to use the nylon and I'm going to use my yarn needle I combine one here usually my kids take off with them 
and I'm going to sew it together at the bottom. And remember, I'm not using the nylon, I'm only using the black four ply yarn. So I'm just going to flip it upside down here. And here's the knot where I started. I have it right on the corner. I'm just going to take it and simply sew it. It's probably kind of hard to see what I'm doing, but it's real easy to explain. I'm just going to sew it together back and forth through the stitches. Just sew it. Stay shut. And I'm going to go to the other stitch here and to the other stitch on the other side, pull it through, and then the next stitch on this one, and then the next stitch on the other side and pull it through. If you wanted to single crochet this together, you could, and if you wanted to go whip stitch it around and around, you could do it that way too. Either way works, because it's black if you're using black and you're not really going to be able to see the seam or anything really but I'm just grabbing a stitch on this side and then grabbing the same stitch on the other side going through and then jump over here to the next stitch and then the next stitch on the back side and going through and I'm just going to do this all the way down until my bag is all the way shut and then I'll just hide my tail and clip my yarn so it's real easy. If you want to make it extra strong, you can go across it twice just to make sure that it's sewed up nice and tight. But I'm going to finish getting mine sewed together. I'm going to go all the way over here to the other side and clip my yarn off and then I'm going to hide all these tails. Okay, for the handle, I'm using, I'm back to using my two strands again together. Now you can make the handle as long as you want. I'm just making a single crochet handle, a nice thin little handle. So I chained 60 like we did in the beginning, but you could do it long if you want or shorter. It's really up to you. But once you get that done, you just want to put a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And then it's just one single crochet in every stitch for the length of your handle. And that's all there is to that. So the handle's really easy. I think the whole back's pretty easy, but I think it's gonna turn out good, I hope, still. And if you wanna do a different handle, that's fine. If you wanna buy a handle, I think a really pretty uh, silver chain would look really pretty good on it, too. I just didn't have one, like a purse chain, or even if you had just a chain necklace, you could always sew that on. But that's completely up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and get this finished, and then we'll get this sewed on, and then we'll sew on that necklace, and then we'll be done. Okay, for sewing on the handles, I actually just sewed in the tails that were left on this, and now I'm just sewing it on. Make sure I got this side sewed. I'm just using a yarn, just my four-ply, regular four-ply yarn in my yarn needle. And I'm sewing it onto the inside of the bag. Just go down just inside of it, right at the corner, just a little bit. And get it sewed on nice and tight. Real easy to do. Sew it back and forth until you feel like it's super tight. I just went down inside the bag about a half inch with, the, with it like that. And I'm going to sew up all around it until I feel like it's not going to come loose and you just do that on both sides so I'm going to keep getting this sewed on and then when I'm done I'll hide the tails from this and I'll go ahead and sew that decoration on that necklace on okay now if you Remember, I'm going to put a link below to this exact necklace. So if you got this and you want to follow me, I'll show you how you do it. What I did was I clipped off the necklace and I left two chains on each end that are just by themselves. See this chain right here has this diamond hook to it and these two are just empty. And I did that on 
the other side too this chain here has this diamond hook to it and there's two left and I just cut them with a pair of I'll have my husband cut it you probably use a pair of wire snips or something but you don't have to use this exact necklace you can use a different one some other type of chain necklace or you don't even have to put anything on it you could glue hot glue um, diamond studs onto it and that would look really pretty I actually have a bag that I did that too and it looked awesome I mean that's just some options that you can do if you don't want to get this but I will put a link to where to the walmart.com where this came from where you can check your local Walmart too but what you want to do is put it up here at the top and again I'm just back to using my one strand I'm not using my nylon anymore I'm done with that so you want to get it even here at the top just want to start like here's where you at the corners where you sew your uh, handles to just go in about two stitches or so and then start start like on the third one over you want to get it as even as you can but it's not going to be perfect but okay what you do is you go through this ring the very first ring and then count like th three stitches over from the corner and go into that stitch like that and leave a little tail here that we can sew in later now you want to go through the ring in that same stitch again and you want to pull it nice and tight now what we're going to do is we're going to skip the next ring and go through the next one and then go through the next stitch back here like that and pull it tight skip the next ring this one right here go through the next ring and then go through the next stitch on the back pull it tight skip the ring the next ring it's actually the one on the side there if you have the same one that I do and go through the next stitch on the back we're not skipping a stitch we're skipping the ring only and you just want to make sure that you pull it nice and tight so it doesn't come undone skip a ring go through the next ring and the next stitch on the back pull it nice and tight skip a ring go through the next ring and the next stitch on the back and I'm just going to do this all the way around, all the way down. Skip, go through this, just like that. Skip this one, go through this, and go through the next stitch on the back. We're going to do this all the way across until it's sewed on. Sewed on tight until it's not going to come off. So I'm going to keep going here until I get to the other side and hopefully it's pretty centered. Skip that one, go to the next one, pull it nice and tight, skip, go to the next one, and the next one, skip. Okay, I'm gonna do this until I get over here to the other side. I'm just about there. I guess I'll just go ahead and finish it. Okay, and then not my last ring here. That. And then there's one more here. Don't you don't have to skip it, just go through it. Just center it the best that you can. That's all really that you can do is try to get it centered on the bag. And I just went in like three stitches and it actually worked out pretty good here. I'll show you here. It turned out pretty centered on each side, but so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take these tails and I'm gonna sew them in <clears throat> the back here. I'm sorry that the yarn's black. I got black. I didn't think it would be that bad since it's such an easy bag. So hopefully you haven't had much trouble seeing it. But just go ahead and weave your tails in and get all, all of them weaved in and cut off. Okay, that's it. I kind of show you when you kind of hold it up, that kind of weighs down a little bit of the front of the bag, but I think it looks really cute like that. But that jingles. I don't have much counter space and I spilt coffee everywhere and 
sorry it's just a big mess up here all right show you more but just like that but it looks pretty good i think it looks looks really good be good for a night on the town i guess but that's it that's all there is to it uh don't forget to check out my other videos i got hundreds of them um and don't forget to check me out on facebook too where if you make this or anything else uh, I'd really love to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. And also, again, don't forget to check out uh, uh, the Sufil website for this beautiful ring here that they sent. The Natural Sea Pro with set in 18 karat gold. Also, they got lots of other nice jewelry on there. So I'll put a link to this ring and a link to their website below in the description box. And um, I'll also put a link to a coupon code you can use, too, if you want to find anything you like. they got lots of pretty stuff. And until next time, have a good day.